family of a 12 year old fatally wounded when an ice cream truck crashed into his apartment complex last month. A blood drive is happening right now in Kenner in honor of Javier Adrian Flores Fajardo. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield is live at that event for us with how people are honoring the boy's memory. Ariel. Well, Morgan, this blood drive and fundraiser started about two hours ago, and staff here tells me they're hoping to get about 50 people through these doors to give donations. And as you can see right behind me, we have someone donating right now. Now, 12-year-old Adrian Fajardo underwent 16 blood transfusions, and that just shows how imperative it is to have blood readily available when undergoing critical surgeries. Now, the Blood Center is hosting a blood drive and fundraiser here in Kenner at the Kenner City Park Pavilion. The event started at 10 a.m. this morning and runs until 5 this evening. Now, when you donate for Adrian, and you are helping the family with his medical expenses, his burial costs, and helping them find new living arrangements as they have been displaced since the incident. I'm told, once, uh, I'm told one blood donation can help save up to three lives, and the blood donated today will be able to support, to support 60 area hospitals in the community. Javier was one of several patients that needed blood that day. Every single day we need to collect about 250 units of blood to take care of our area patients. And that only happens when the community comes out, rolls up their sleeve. And, and again, they're asking you guys to come out and donate if you can. This event will happen until 5 o'clock tonight, and it's here at the Kenner City Park Pavilion. Reporting in Kenner, I'm Arielle Brumfield, WDSU News. Awesome. Hopefully even more people will show up. Arielle, thank you so much.